Good afternoon. My name is Tim West. I'm one of the prayer chaplains here at Unity in the Olympics, located in Port Angeles, Washington. And today we are live from the sanctuary. Of course, I'm not in there because I can't get the microphones to work again. But we are live from the sanctuary where we've got some guests in there watching the meditation live, as well as I am live in the office. So today's daily word is how we usually begin. And our daily word for today is joy. No sitting here going, joy? Well, Eva, one of our prayer chaplains that, who's also a minister through another organization, is a joy master. Joy master Eva. She always has joy in her heart every time I come into her. Energy or her presence. So how do we get that joy into our presence? Well, today's daily word says, I have joy in my heart today. I believe we have our joy in our heart every day and we just need to claim it. So let's start out by doing the daily word and claim our joy. So affirm with me, I have joy in my heart today. I have joy in my heart today. I let these lyrics sing in my soul. I've got joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Without the melody, this is a powerful affirmation reminding me that my joy is inherent. Singing loud or softly to myself puts a spring in my step and a twinkle in my eyes. Joy is part of my divine essence and not dependent upon things that can fluctuate or fade. Because joy is my natural state, I need only to free it in order to feel it. Even in the midst of an undesirable situation, I can open myself up to joy. I focus on my blessings and on the divine love and life within. As I am lifted up, I feel the joy that comes from trusting spirit. I am calm, peaceful, and joyous deep down in my heart. I am calm, peaceful, and joyful down in my heart, but also up here in the higher heart. For joy is our essence. So let's say the affirmation one more time. I have joy in my heart today. Do you feel it? Now this comes from Isaiah 55, 12, where it says, where you should go out in joy and be led back in peace. The mountains and the hills before you shall burst into song, and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. So let's take that thought into meditation today. Can you feel it resonating already? Let's go ahead and let's affirm I have joy in my heart today. I have joy in my heart today. Can you wrap the rest of your body around it? So let's gently shut our eyes and open up our inner eyes and our heart space to feel that joy. So first it says we have to come to peace. So if you would with me, take a deep breath in of peace. and allow it to be part of you. Gently exhale. Breathe in another piece of peace. And gently exhale. Now this time deeply breathe in and let's bring in that tingle of joy. And release. <sighs> and allow it to magnify. And another breath of joy in. And let it spread all around and all through you. And with a joyful heart, say those words again from that song. I have joy, 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 joy down in my heart. 
Now, when I think of joy, I think of twinkling sunlight, glistening off waterways. For there I go down to the waterways to capture peace, a deep peace, just like the ocean nearby, but deep and tranquil. For as I submerse myself into the flowing waters, I'm allowed to turn off my concept of hearing and go into this still small voice within me, knowing my inner eye, I have on goggles and an oxygen line. So I'm always safe and protected in my mind's eye as I swim through the vast oceans in observation of what lies deep. I like it that I can get down and up close to the sand and the pebbles and occasionally see a glimmer of what I call ocean sea glass, radiantly expressing all the colors that have merged before it and selecting one by choice of what to project. We too can bring in that light of God through us, in us, as us, and choose how we project. Whether we see joy in pulling weeds or planting flowers, humming a joyful child's memory song, sitting in the illumination of the memory of a camp past, gazing at the bonfire, or being illuminated by a twinkle within your heart of a humorous antidote that has just passed. Maybe you see joy in the fawns that are laying beneath the shrubs across the church today. In the vast parking lot is a joyfully play as they gallop and prance around discovering one another. Maybe you see joy in the mountaintops as the white caps glisten and twinkle and cast upon your eyes. Maybe it's joy in the irises that you smell as you approach the building or the dancing daisies in the field as you drive through a state park. Joys all around. How it comes to you is your spark. So sit in the silence for a moment and think about all those things you're grateful for, all those gifts, all those impressions of the divine that delights your day. The first one I was grateful for was placing my feet on the ground. I call it upright and vertical in this dimension with a smile on my face. Reflecting back to a joyful dream as I too in that was sitting by a stream, but in that case with a fishing pole. Joined by my brothers and my dad as we laughed and laughed about the catches of the day. Maybe there's a big Wally story inside Maybe it's just a small story that you hold back as other delight with your internal pride. As you bask in the glow of the feelings that you've set inside yourself where they've always been met. Another thing that brought me joy is the amount of love that radiates from what I call home. 
I'm grateful for all the bits of tender kindness. Those that tap me on the shoulder and say, hey, I'd love for you to set some time aside just for me, as I say that to them. Whether we go off and play Bingalo by Neon's Light, or whether we just go sit and chat and share each other's insights. In the silence, another part of joy is hearing the cadence of a heartbeat, feeling the pulsation of something when divine surprise prances across my way. The sounds of gentle rain or the breeze the rustling of leaves on the trees, the smell of all the fragrances of the garden, the sound of the trickling water, the crashing of waves, that quiet, delicate whisper of the sunset as it touches the very last tip in the furthest distance of mind's eyes water sight. Whatever brings that twinkle inside that sensation, it's all right. Express your gratitude. Let it feed that peaceful side without frenzy. Let it be the waters on which you rise. Let it be that in perfect balance of the water touching the edge during high tide. Now, if you could scoop it up in a minnow net, or even better, in a larger dip net, round it all up. All those twinkles and all those sizzles, all that zeal that moved through you when your heart aligned with that sensation of that divine spark within you, we call joy. Recognize it. Bless it and bring it home into this 3D dimension here in this now space and time. And as you're ready, gently open your eyes in the oneness of the now moment, still in connection with the divine. And however you want to say it, say thank you, God. Thank you for the gift, the blessing, this we call life, as we stay here and now with our love, peace, and joy in sight. This is Tim from Squim, live from Unity in the Olympics in Port Angeles, Washington, saying as my mom taught me how to say, Goodbye for now. We'll see you soon.